Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at top causes of catalytic converter failure. A catalytic converter is part of the exhaust system that is designed to convert harmful gases to less harmful emission. Since there are no moving parts in catalytic converters, you would expect that they would be fairly durable and long-lasting. But in spite of all the advancements in catalytic converter technology, they still fail. Many times, however, catalytic converter fail is a symptom of an issue somewhere in the vehicle, usually a symptom of larger problem. This is why it is important to identify the root cause of the failure and perform the repair prior to installing new catalytic converter. If the issue that has caused the previous catalytic converter fail is not fixed properly, then the new catalytic converter will not last longer. Any malfunction causing an usually high level of hydrocarbon or carbon monoxide in conjunction with high level of O2 entering the catalytic converter will dramatically elevate its temperature. Temperature that is extremely high may damage the catalyst. Catalytic converters can overheat because of excessive amount of unburned gas and misfiring related problems. So, let's have a look at some of the top causes leading to catalytic converter failure. One improperly maintained engine. Engines in need of service and older engines that burn oil due to worn cylinder walls, stuck rings and worn valve guides will produce byproducts that can fool the catalytic converter. When an engine that is operating outside of the proper specification, wear and damage may be caused to the catalytic converter as well as the engine itself. Incorrect air fuel mixture, incorrect ignition timing or misfiring spark plugs could lead to catalytic converter failure Always remember that a number of problems could occur to the catalytic converter as a result of an engine that is out of tune. Anytime an engine is operating outside proper specification, unnecessary wear and damage may be caused to the catalytic converter. So, the number one cause of catalytic converter failure is improperly maintained engine. Two, bad spark plugs or deteriorating spark plug wires. Spark plugs are necessary for the combustion process. When they are not functioning properly, it can cause fuel to leak into the catalytic converter. Not only is this dangerous, but it can also cause significant damage to the converter. Spark plugs that don't fire properly and misfiring spark plug could result in introduction of unburned hydrocarbon to the exhaust system. Because the catalytic converters get extremely hot during this time, the unburned fuel can ignite inside the converter and could result in partial or complete meltdown of the ceramic crystals. Spark plugs and spark plug wires should be checked regularly and replaced if damaged or if the wires are worn or cracked. 3. Oil or antifreeze entering the exhaust system. When oil or antifreeze makes its way into the exhaust system, it creates a thick carbon suit which causes and eventually clog the exhaust air passage in the catalytic converter ceramic honeycomb. This carbon deposit stops the catalytic converter from doing its job of removing harmful emission in the exhaust flow. And also, when the pores become clogged in the ceramic catalyst, exhaust flow is restricted, which can increase exhaust back pressure. Increasing back pressure causes heat and exhaust to flow back into the engine compartment. The excess back pressure created in the exhaust system can actually cause internal engine damage. Your engine may draw in some of this unburned hydrocarbon, unburned exhaust gas back into the combustion chamber and dilute the efficiency of the next burn cycle. The result is loss of power and overheated engine components. Possible cause of oil or antifreeze entrance into the exhaust system are worn piston rings, faulty valve seals, failed gasket or warp engine components. So these are some of the things that can result oil or antifreeze admittance into the exhaust system. 4. Excess or unburned fuel entering the exhaust system. Ideally, the fuel that powers the vehicle is burned inside the combustion chamber. Any fuel that gets through the combustion chamber unburned will enter the exhaust system and that can ignite once it reaches the catalytic converter. This can overheat the converter far beyond its normal operating limit and it can cause catalytic converter crystal meltdown. Possible causes leading to unburned fuel entrance into the exhaust are improper fuel mixture, incorrect ignition timing, bad spark plug, malfunctioning oxygen sensor, 
staking carburetor floats, defective fuel injectors or faulty check valve, and defective leaky injectors. All this can lead to excess fuel admitted into the cylinder, and some of the fuel will pass unburned to the exhaust system, leading to meltdown of the catalytic converter. So unburned fuel entering the exhaust system is another cause of catalytic converter damage. 5. Oxygen sensor not functioning properly. If the vehicle's oxygen sensor is not functioning properly, it can send incorrect reading of the exhaust gas to the vehicle's computer. The fault sensor reading can result in an improper air fuel ratio. The air fuel could be too rich or it could be too lean. If the air fuel mixture is too rich, then the catalyst can melt down from fuel burning inside the converter. If the air fuel mixture is too lean, the converter will not be able to serve its purpose of changing hydrocarbons into safe elements. This may cause your vehicle to fail emission tests during vehicle inspection. So, if you have a faulty or malfunctioning oxygen sensor, have it replaced immediately in order to preserve the catalytic converter. 6. Structural or physical damage of the converter. The primary cause of structural damage is road debris striking the catalytic converter. Normally, some evidence of impact is visible on the converter shield. On many vehicles, the catalytic converter is located under the vehicle and like other parts of the exhaust system, it can also be damaged by road debris or by running over a curb. The catalytic converter honeycomb is made of a lightweight, thin-walled, fragile ceramic material. It is wrapped and protected in a dense insulation mat. This mat holds the catalyst in place and provides some protection against damage. However, broken exhaust hangers, off-road driving, potholes and speed bumps, debris striking the catalytic converter air or any other impact underneath your vehicle can strike the catalytic converter hard, causing a catalyst fracture. Once the ceramic honeycomb is fractured, then the broken pieces become loose and rattle around, breaking up into smaller pieces. As a result, exhaust flow is interrupted and the back pressure inside the exhaust system will increase, leading to heat buildup and loss of power. Corrosion, thermal shock, metal fatigue, stress fractures, and stripped oxygen sensor traits are also other issues that may result in physical damage on the catalytic converter and require your replacement. 7. Frequent short trips. If you generally only take short trips in your vehicle and don't regularly drive long distances, your catalytic converter may not be getting hot enough to completely burn away the hydrocarbons. This will gradually fill up the air passes and lead to clogging. To prevent clogging the catalytic converter, take your vehicle for the occasional highway driving for 15 minutes or more. This will allow the exhaust to sufficiently heat up and burn off all the deposits built in the catalytic converter. 8. Faulty Valve Seals Valve seals are designed to keep pressurized gases intact within the exhaust and the emission system. When the seals fail or become degraded, it can cause significant performance issues related to catalytic converter functioning. Faulty valve seals will allow oil escape into the exhaust, oil entrance into the exhaust, and that can lead to hydrocarbon buildup. And finally, 9. Catalytic converter theft. The precious metals found in the catalytic converter can draw attention of thieves. Catalytic converters are frequently stolen because of the precious metal inside. Converters have small amounts of platinum, rhodium, and palladium, all of which have value for metal dealers. So, dear viewers, those are some of the top causes leading to catalytic converter failure. The best way to combat catalytic converter issue is to stay on top of routine maintenance procedure and to follow up on any troubling sign or symptoms you may notice. If your car engine is well maintained, then hopefully the catalytic converter will serve you long. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding some of the top causes leading to catalytic converter failure. We have tried to look at some of the things that can cause catalytic converter failure. If the catalytic converter is failing, there are some symptoms that it can exhibit. For example, if you happen to notice sluggish engine performance, if you have reduced acceleration, if you happen to see dark exhaust smoke coming out of the tailpipe, if there is a smell of sulfur or rot egg from the exhaust, if there is excessive heat under the vehicle, these are some of the indications of catalytic converter going bad. 
Following your vehicle's recommended maintenance schedule can help you delay catalytic converter failure. Keeping your exhaust, emission, and combustion system in good shape will minimize the risk of your catalytic converter failing before its time. And finally, don't ignore the check engine light. It could be alerting you of a, a clogged air filter, a clogged fuel filter. Waiting to change for the filter could lead to premature catalytic converter replacement. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this video. If you enjoyed what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.